you might not be able to notice outside, but it's spring and that means summer is coming. I have a whole bunch of new announcements, but I'm going to show you how quick it is and you're going to need this tip for summer. I'm telling you, no Bella, she's saying, Meow. okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to buy these pineapples. A lot of the times they'll go on sale for $1.99 here in Ontario. I don't know where you are. Let me know what the prices are and I know they range and it ranges between days, weeks, locations. So tell me what, what it costs for a pineapple for you. And I know that a can, usually a can of pineapple is like about half the size. So we're only getting half and it's over a dollar, anywhere between a dollar to $2, maybe even $2 and 19 cents I saw. So if a pineapple is $1.99, but you're not sure, you're like, okay, but I don't need it then. And the canned is so much more convenient. I'm gonna show you a quick, quick kind of way of what I've mastered in this is what's gonna go on. So you're just gonna chop the top off. Oh, I've already done that. And yes, you can plant this. Haven't done it, but I've heard you can. You're gonna take this core. It is not an Epicure thing. I found this at the dollar store, okay? Dollar store or Pampered Chef. I'm dead serious. You're gonna see it has a serrated little teeth. You're gonna find where that core is, right? That core right there where you can see, that's the hard part. <clears throat> so I usually try to find it. Then I press down and then it kind of makes sure that I'm getting to the core. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. All you're gonna do is put it down just like that and then you're going to easily, and you're gonna see how there's like an actual spot here you're gonna easily, can you guys see that? Just start twisting. You don't really need pretty much any pressure. So you can see I'm not pressing down. You really don't need any pressure and you can see these, the silver is going to start disappearing. So, and it actually just cores down and you can just twist away, twist, 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 twist. And can you see what's in the background? So, and here comes these husk thingies. I'm just gonna show you this. So you're gonna try to, until you get some resistance. Usually that's the outside, but here's a tip that I learned from my vase, as you can see. I made it into a vase. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so you can use it. Check out my Instagram, you'll be able to see um, that picture. Um, so yeah, you got all the way down, right? So what I do is I kind of twist back and forth a little bit to kind of loosen it up. I don't know if this is right, but I have, just kind of done that. And then what I do is you kind of just pull. I found that wiggling it and kind of jarring it and twisting back and forth works because it is kind of like suctioned in there really pretty good. So I do that and just try to pull up as much as I can. You're gonna actually feel how hollow it is and just pull up because that is tight. So as you can see, we're gonna pull this up and do, 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 do. you have sliced pineapple. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside. And I'm gonna show you something. Be careful, I'm gonna show you because there's actually lots of juice in there. So you're gonna to wanna to keep that for a lot of your recipes, okay? There might be more pineapple at the bottom. This is where I kind of got crazy and I ended up kind of cutting a little bit of a hole because I kind of went down to the bottom. So there is probably more pineapple at the bottom than what we took out. But as you can see, meh, about that. So we're gonna, there's probably a little bit more. And if you wanna make this into a vase, you're just gonna actually either use this and you can put water in it, stick actually um, the smaller or the harder stems and it'll stay in there, kind of like, you know, like those little floral um, sponges. Or if you want, I cut it out and you can put a glass in it, especially if you, cut and there's like water leaking out. So that takes care of that generally. And then you're gonna actually press this and pull the handle out. And here is how I learned this because I thought, how do you get it off? I was like, what is going on? So if you want slices, this is the greatest thing ever. You're just gonna actually slide it and look at it. it's It's actually one ring, it's just like apple rings. Ah, so now you're done with that. Dishwasher safe, away you go, that's fine. So you've got this. If you want, you can just take a knife, slice it, and then you're gonna have like two half slices, right? Um, what you can do 
So you can take actually the meat separator. They call it the meat separator. I call it the potato masher because you can actually press all the way down. And now you have slices. Isn't this gen like serious? And if you want, you just want the, the pineapple slices. Amazing. But you're going to need something this summer. So I'm going to give you another tip because, you know, you're going to need some some pineapple to go in some really tropical recipes. So you can either take this, put it in a freezer container or bag, freeze it, and you're A-OK. -okay. has a lot of vitamin C in it. You're probably like, Sandra, why are you saying vitamin C? Vitamin C actually helps. So like with freezing and things like that, it'll actually help kind of retain the color and things like So you, you, these will not go brown if you just throw it in the freezer. But if you want, you can take this and crush it. These are really great ways. This can go on pizzas. Think about all the different things. You can take the whole the whole big circle. You can do grilled. Um, these can go. This can go on ham when you're baking ham. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how quick you can make crush. So now you have sliced, and then just with our potato masher meat separator or meat. I don't know. I I I call it potato things. And you're just going to gently start. And now you've got chopped. No joke. So now this is really great on pizzas. And as you keep going, you're getting more juices and it turns into, no joke, the best, freshest crushed pineapple. And if you just wanna buy the pineapple when it goes on sale and freeze it, just label it so you know that it's this, because this and mango looks kind of similar together. And you're just gonna keep going around and as you can see you're gonna get crushed pineapple ready to go and here's a tip if you take this and freeze this until you need it it's actually just as good as canned but here's another thing if you're making drinks then and frozen drinks are all those tropical drinks and guess what happens this is going to be frozen, and so when you throw it in your blender, it's going to stay colder longer, and you're going to actually, you'll still need the ice, but you won't need um, as much to keep it cool. So the ice helps kind of move the flavor around, and you know, so you're not drinking just pineapple, but I highly suggest doing this when your pineapples go on sale in your area, and you don't have to wait till you have canned pineapple you can just and just gently kids can do this super fun so and this is still awesome on pizzas and things like that or on top of ham or I like a mango pineapple like salsa with kind of like spicier ingredients so whether you use the chipotle or whatever on top of salmon so grilled salmon so this mangoes, maple syrup, and the chipotle seasoning, and you put that over top of a grilled salmon. Mmm, delish. So these are the different ways you can do it. As you can see, easy to make crushed pineapple with just the meat separator. And don't forget, what are you going to do with that waste? You're going to make a nice little thing, and you're going to put your flowers in it, or you know what? Supposedly you can plant this top and grow a new pineapple. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna maybe try it, but I'm gonna put this in a baggie, freeze it, and now you know when pineapples go on sale, you can have pineapple year round, and that's a way to save money when they do go on sale, but you're not ready to use the pineapple right away. And now you've learned how to do sliced, chopped, and crushed, whatever you want.